Just we plan on setting up stakes for the wall, getting our layouts, and then tomorrow we're probably gonna start throwing the backboards up. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to go through the whole process of us building the retaining wall from start to finish. Now, later on, I'll go through each part of the retaining wall and I'll break it down in a separate video. But this is from literally from the beginning of us building the retaining wall to us putting the rebar in to us stripping until the finish. It's about 160 feet long, five feet high. I'm going to jump in and out of the narrative, but pretty much there's really no explanation on how we go about building the retaining wall. Just kind of showing you guys the process of what it takes to build a retaining wall. I will make some other videos where it's breaking it down, how we build the front of the wall, how we install the rebar, how we strip it, how we pour it. Now it is a little longer video than I normally make about eight minutes, nine minutes. I try to average, but this one is 15 minutes. Again, it's just because of the process from start to finish. So I hope you guys enjoy again, any comments, any questions leave down below. And I hope everyone is doing well, staying positive. It's cool to ask for help. Let's get into it. got the first board in now we're just gonna start stacking them like legos here this is about 160 feet long five feet high footing is about 18 inches thick four feet wide a double mat rebar in there number four and five and then we're gonna have number five on the wall 12 inches on center
now, yesterday we had the rebar cage up, so now we're putting the front stakes on. These are for, gonna be for the two by 12s. And we pretty much lined these up with the ones in the back. So once we get all these up, we're gonna add the two by 12s. Here are the WT8s that go in between the wall to hold them. Here I'll go some more stakes. And so here are the ones that still gotta be installed. All rebars number tw number five, 12 inches on center. We got a double mat rebar cage down there. Number five, 12 inches on center with the stirrups being number four, 12 inches on center. The footing for this wall is uh, four feet wide, 18 inches thick. The wall itself is five feet tall. So this is the uh, These are the stakes for the front. Now, the stakes are about, actually we cut them seven feet. Cause you gotta figure it five feet for the wall. You got about 18 inches for the footing and about six inches below. We probably cut them six inches higher because we need to use them again for the other wall. So we just try to recycle them and keep them tall as possible. But normally if the wall is five feet, well, you want to cut them seven feet. If the wall is three feet, you want to cut them five feet. Taking, you're taking into consideration the uh, part of it's going into the footing. And we always get asked, do we leave them on or cut them off? Sometimes if we have time, we'll, leave, we'll take them out. But if not, we just get a multi-purpose tool and just cut them at the bottom. If the inspector makes a big deal out of them, we can pull them out, but we never had to pull them out. One time we did because we had to finish the footing, but other than that, over five, six years, we never pulled them out. So this wall again is 160 feet long, five feet high. Footing is four feet wide, 18 inches thick. Everything is number five rebar, 12 inches on center. The stirrups for it is number four, 12 inches on center.
right, so we got the wall done. Uh, I started stripping it yesterday and we finished it off today. So this is the front. Let me just kind of show you guys the back here. This is the back. We're gonna walk it a little bit. Sunlight might be in the way. So this is where the drainage is gonna go in the back here. Again, it's 160 feet long. So we're gonna walk it out with you guys. So here we go. We're gonna clean up all this on the footing later on. So that's the wall. Got the other side to do. That one's 330 feet long. So we're gonna come back. We got one to do in Oakley, where we're gonna do one about 90 feet. Then we're gonna come back and do the other one. The other one. But yeah, here it is. So we're kind of staging everything right here. Reuse it, gotta order some more 2 by 12s I'm gonna put a wall over there. All right.